Hey guys, this is Justin from Unicor. Today we're here with Ricky Romero, a former Toronto Blue Jays All-Star. As an athlete, Ricky has a tremendous amount of speed, but from time to time can struggle with a slice. On today's video, we're gonna watch Ted O work with Ricky on how to turn that slice into a baby draw. So, you, wrist controls your foot facing. So, now you got the into out path, which is draw path. And the shot that stays out there means that your face was staying open. So it was greater than five degrees. Mm -hmm. that. So your face angle is greater than five degrees. If anything lower than five degrees, let's say four, three, two, or one, the ball will come back. Okay. So that, if the club face stays open more than 5.4, it stays out there. And it's, it's not going to come back. But how, so how do you close it? How do you, you how do, The wrist, club face angle, you control by wrist angle. The wrist angle for this, so do your normal grip. So to get top, if you club face angle, if you have a cupping, the club face stays open. Mm -hmm. If you have a flat wrist, club face closes more square for you. Okay, oh. so you feeling that straight one wrist angle mm -hmm. is everything. So if now you have the into out path, you could be more you could be more aggressive and keep, try to keep that straight. Straight. And if you keep it, if you cup it. Which is what I do. Yeah, so right here, like this. But the reason why you had to open it or kind of cup it before, because before you had low out to in. Yeah. And if you cup it, close your face, with out to in swing, the ball just goes straight left. So you have to make that ball come back. So you were just somehow, you try to keep that face more open and open. Mm -hmm. And they probably got to a point where you're opening up too much, the ball just slides into it. Because you have a, Tremendous uh, club head speed, and more club head speed you have, more side spin you put in. Okay. So for you, like LPG golfer with 93 club head speed, they can really have a club face angle that's like two to three degrees open at the impact, mm -hmm. still be in the foot. Yeah. But for you, I know you could swing up to like 130 miles an hour. If your club face is open <laughs> one and a half degree, it's in the foot. <laughs> Yeah. Because it's like I know you play baseball, and like for a guy who uh, throws a hundred miles an hour, it's mm -hmm. always gonna throw the curveball fat more curve than some junior high kid going through the sixty miles. Of the ball's not gonna curve as much. Yeah, because you, you can't put the extra. So you suggest kind of taking a little bit of velocity back, right? Yeah, I, I, more, you, for more you, finesse. more finesse. Yeah. I would recommend because I mean I know you could hit at three hundred thirty yards, but mm -hmm. I would rather see you hit more. 315 yards, eight out of 10 times. 100%. Versus 330 yards, one out of, two out of 10 times, and a couple other balls just went Well, and that's my yeah. game right so, now, where everything is <laughs> one out so of. When you set up, seven. yeah, I don't want you to be so tense. I want you to be more relaxed. And even on the takeaway, before you used to go so hard from the takeaway, I want you to kind of relax and take it back. Okay? So, so we're only going 80%, 90% speed. Good. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yep. Ideally for you, you want to no, that's too much. That's going. So that, that's gonna actually cost the ball. Look. Okay. Too much. So you wanna just keep it going. Ideally just that's straight. Okay. Okay. Let's go half swing, three quarter swing for you, relax. Good. So more straighter. Even that, I mean, that was a bunt for you. And you still hit 153 yards, yeah. eight iron, 82 mile club at speed. And then I know you cut a little behind, so it was in perfect contact. If you get this kind of speed, the ball is not gonna have too much size. You don't, we don't need to try to swing that eight iron, 110 miles, 100, 100 miles an hour. And if you look at the club face angle right here, The face was 3.9 degrees open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because you swung under control, the ball on the curve moved about four yards, five yards. Okay. But if you would have swung that 100 miles an hour, That's when that ball is going to right front. Yeah. Yeah. So, once you get used to this kind of three quarter swing, mm -hmm. uh, and you, if you get used to it, you are going to swing about 90 miles an hour mm -hmm. and stay under control. Okay. 
Nice. Yeah, now still three quarter swing. You swing almost 90 miles an hour. I'm just 63 yards. That's more than enough. The thing is, you're hitting your 863 yards. So let's say 950 yards. Pitching wedge, 140 yards. I mean, you got so much gap from the, from the bottom low. And your game is focused more on 315 yard drive. So there's that many par fours that you're going to have about 160 yards in. Yeah. Mostly you're going to have more shots that's going to be 130, 100, you know, 110. Mm -hmm. So for you, yeah, I would like to maintain the club speed of your driver, but irons, I would look for more finesse and distance control and stuff like that. Then it just makes sense because average par four is 400 yards for yep. you, 420, you hit your 300 yard drive, 100 yards, 120 yards in. That's why you should focus on your game not how far you get your eight iron. And I've right. seen you hit up to eight iron, 180 yards. You know? It's like, but how often are you gonna hit that shot? You're right. Maybe yeah. once, once or twice around. This is yeah. This is not the not the distance. Yeah, one sixty eight, one thirty. With this way, with this speed, you're gonna be able to hit more um, solid, more consistent, and it's gonna take the side spin. Okay. So some. So you said. So sometimes it's. So my, 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 your my wrist point. angle, combination wrist angle, and you keep two, like you're sitting up, like you're gonna try to kill this air. Yeah. You go so fast in the back. But if you look at the last couple of swings, you're more relaxed and you're just taking it straight back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. Drift draw. Drift draw. So that's back seven thousand six hundred. That's like perfect number for your eight iron. Um, you want about ten. You know, you, eight irons. You're looking for about eight thousand to, and then side spin is below that ten percent down. So all just gonna just happen. It's crazy when you take take a little bit off. Yeah, you right. have so much more control. Right? Like, it's like, we get, I mean, of being a former athlete, yeah. you get so caught up on, like, uh, trying to kill it, trying yeah. to kill it in, in distance, right? Yeah. Not distance, distance. Yeah. But, like, as soon as you, like, yeah. kind of take it back a little bit, yeah. it's almost like everything just kind of falls into place. Yeah, so you hit two shots in a row, and if you look at the distance, 0.7 yard difference yeah. in those two swings. And previously, you know, 173, 157, you missed yeah. a little bit. Now, what you're looking for with the irons is total distance, distance control. Yeah. You know, driver, yeah, we do want to go, you know, 315, 320. And let's say you hit one, uh, 300, no big deal. No big deal, yeah. yeah. But if you're hitting eight iron and you, your normal eight iron is about 165, and let's say you hit one 150, that's in the front bunker or that's in the water. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. distance control is 95% on iron. So you have, you've got to be able to control that distance. Yeah. With driver, maybe with three wood, um, that distance control is not as important, more accuracy. Yeah. So, so good, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Good job.